So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to associate labels to our input fields. Now that's the way we could, when someone's using a screen reader, they know that a particular input field has this label. So what we're going to do, now we have four, I'm just going to go totally in the code view over here. We have um, one, two, yeah, five different uh, input values. The first one is our name, our email, and then it's, you know, our profession and the bean name, and at the end we have that comments field. Um, the way we're going to associate a label is via the name that the input that the input value has. So for example, for for this uh, let me actually go to our contact form, the, the one that's already set up. Um, the name over here refers to this field, and this input field actually technically is its its technical uh, value, the back end value rather, is name. So what we're going to do is wrap a label right around this thing. We'll go label, and then four. That's the, the code we're going to use, and name. So what we have here is a label for name. So when it says label for name, it's going to read what it is. And inside of that, I'm just going to referring to a form that I've already done before, is we're going to put in cap, we're going to nest inside of that the actual text we want the user to see. And it says, and that's going to be name, and we have required in parentheses and then we're going to close that label field. So now what's what actually happened here is that it says label for name and the next input field refers to the actual uh, field value called name. Okay so with that said we're going to go down to our next field. I'm just going to copy and paste the original code I mean not the original code, the code I just created and now this next label is label for what? This is going to be email. So I'm going to copy and paste the name for my for my label for equals in quotes email. So I'm going to put that down over there. Email. All right. Now the next one, the naming convention on this one isn't going to be as nice, but it's it it is going to let them know what it is. So the the label for this thing for our uh, what is your profession is this the name and unfortunately this is a not a very um, descriptive semantic name that Responsomatic used but we're gonna have to use this field dash 1b6 blah 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 now that's not the greatest um, the, obviously not the most semantic or greatest name for this but when someone is going through this with their screen reader at least they'll know that uh, field dash 1b6 fe00 blah 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 is associated with the next input field but it's also going to read out the value that we nest inside of our label tag so in here we're going to have what is your profession so we're going to have that. All right, how did I? I'm just going to look back at how I form it. What is your profession? I put the, I'm just going back to how I actually, the question mark is here. OK, that works. Um, all right, so now that, this label is now via the for value is associated with the input select name right okay so I'm gonna go on I'm gonna continue this for each question that we have so label for the name is and this is this is gonna be the fruit name if I recall my be rather bean name what is my bean name and that's required and the last thing is going to be our comments. And we're going to put, we got to copy and paste this field value into here. And we'll put down comments. And let's see what this looks like now in our browser.